Here's how to change your image background with OpenArt. We're going to click background inside of the editor. Now we're going to see it remove background or change background. Just to quickly demonstrate remove background, it gives you the image with the transparent background. The auto detection is pretty good. It even gets the whiskers of the rabbit. But just in case it doesn't get it, we can always manually brush it or use the click area and smart select certain parts of the image. To change the background, we're going to click this. It opens up a new panel for us. Let's say we want to put the rabbit in a snowy winter scene. In this feature, you can set whether to match original image style, and usually it's checked by default. And you'll see that when it's checked, it's kind of a really nice snowy look. And it even blurs out the background like the original image to give us a sense of depth. So if we uncheck this, we're getting a much different style. It's kind of more cartoony, and this one's much less blurry than when we had it checked. I'd usually recommend leaving it on because it gives you really natural results, but just in case you want a background that's really different than the original style, remember to uncheck it. Another trick I'd like to do is to leave another Create tab open, and I'm gonna just paste in this background prompt. Click Enhance Prompt, Quick Enhance. It writes me something much more elaborate within a second, and now I can use this prompt for the background instead. Now it might not make a huge difference for this one because the original style was blurry, but it can give you much higher quality. When you have more details like the whiskers of the rabbit, the AI change background can really help you fill in the gaps, blend in the edges really well. Something like this one's also really cool. It adds different details to the edges depending on the background. If you look at this picture, it almost feels like the whiskers are a bit frozen because it's standing in the snow. And now let's just focus on this edge of the ear right here. It's giving us different shapes of the fur and different lighting according to how the background image changes. I think that's just amazing. Let's look at this image guidance section with an anime example. It's a pretty hard one because of the hair. And when we click background, the auto detection isn't perfect. It leaves parts of the sky in between the hair. So let's try to put her on Japanese streets. And here's what we're getting. I think these are actually really good. It puts up these lanterns and neon signs to match up with this golden hour lighting on her hair. But let's say... I want a more cyberpunk style of the Japanese streets, kind of like this. Then I can drop this in the image guidance and go from there. Now it's taken in these elements from my reference picture. These parts are a bit tricky. Sometimes it would be less ideal, but if you generate more, you would definitely get a lot that are natural like this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I put all useful links under the video in the description. And don't forget to check out OpenArt. Have fun creating.